so interrupt and its types first of all a question arises in the mind what is an interrupt for easily understanding we can say that when a computer or a processor is busy to perform a certain task at the if at the same time any other request is come to the processor then that new request works as an interrupt for the current going task we can also say that when a process is when a process is executed by the cpu and when a user request for another process then this new requesting or then this will create disturbance for the current running process this is called as an interrupt we can easily see in this figure also so interrupt in other words a signal that gets the attention of the cpu and is usually generated when input or output is required for example hardware interrupts are generated when a key is pressed or when the mouse is moved or on the other hand software interrupts are generated by a program requiring disk input or output when an interrupt occurs the control of the processor is transferred to the os which determines the action to be taken or which determines which action is to be taken what are the need for interrupts currently modern operating systems are interrupt driven there is a heavy need of interrupts in current operating systems as we can say that the operating system is a reactive program when we give some input it will perform the computation or it will react on the basis of what inputs have given to the os but meanwhile we can interact with the system by interrupting the interrupting the running process we can stop that that current running process and also can start another process this reactive rest is due to an interrupt there are various types of interrupts for uh, basically we can say that uh, as internal interrupts external interrupts software interrupts or when we can also broadly classified interrupts into following types as hardware and software interrupts internal and external interrupts vector and non vector interrupts and priority interrupts etc first of all we are considering the hardware interrupts so as discussed earlier when the signal for the processor is from an external device or any hardware means or hardware then this interrupt is known as a hardware interrupt for example when we press any key or on a keyboard to do the same action then this pressing of the key will generate an interrupt signal to the processor these types of interrupt or hardware interrupts are can be classified into two types maskable and non maskable interrupts the hardware interrupts which can be delayed when a much higher priority interrupt has occurred at the same time are known as an maskable interrupts in other words we can say that maskable interrupts can be adjustable but non maskable interrupts cannot be adjustable as the hardware interrupts which cannot be delayed which cannot be delayed and should be processed by the process immediately they are under the category of non maskable interrupts of hardware interrupts now moving forward to software interrupts the interrupt that is caused by any internal system of the computer system is known as software interrupts there are two types of software interrupts also as normal and exception interrupts the interrupts that are caused by software instructions are called as normal software interrupts unplanned interrupts which came unplannedly during the execution of the program are called as exceptional interrupts such as division by zero etc on the other hand we also have the priority interrupts interrupts can be prioritized the higher the priority the faster the interrupt will be served so we can set up the priorities over the interrupts 
and as the higher priority interrupts has as soon that interrupt will be served by the processor it is a very important and uh, i can say that uh, in modern operating system it is most usable types of interrupts when two or more devices interrupt the computer simultaneously or the same time the computer service the device with the higher priority first in this scenario priority interrupts play a very important and very major role generally devices with higher speed transfer such as magnetic disk are given higher priority and slow devices such as keyboard are given the lower priority